Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon Review Series. Uh, we got another request in and uh, it just so happens it's from a uh, previous company. Uh, it is from X Agus and uh, they, they contacted us and let us know that uh, the previous uh, item that they gave us, the uh, previous uh, bipod, they actually upgraded and uh, got a new variation on it. So uh, let's go ahead and open up the box here, find out what's inside, and uh, kind of go over uh, what's new about it, and what uh, you know, what makes this a little bit better than maybe the last one. All right, guys. Well, here we go. Here it is, right here, and it is another bipod. Uh, now this one is it is the identical build in terms of the way that it works. Uh, it still has the uh, the spring assembly here that uh, locks it into the up or down position as well it does have the extendable legs uh, that extend out from uh, six to nine inches there and uh, they lock into place using these little uh, these little recesses here uh, you just use the uh, the little button right there and slide it back in there is a little spring right there that's what causes it to kind of shoot out like that you can then of course adjust it to whatever length you want those are roughly half inch increments and then uh, you can take and lock it all the way up nice and tight uh, it does come with an adapter now this adapter is for a uh, a pickany rail uh, and uh, or a pick rail I call it it comes uh, where you can mount it to the uh, the rail there. It does come with a wrench. And then you have this little piece down here, which simulates the swivel on a, uh, on a rifle stock for uh, the sling. So, uh, you know, you can take, put this on not only something that has a pick rail, but on something more like a traditional hunting rifle. Uh, that uh, may not have that but could have the uh, the simple swivel piece uh, now how that works is uh, right here is where your uh, stock would end up going or the hand grip more so and uh, there is this section right here now you can see there is a little cross piece right there and that's actually removable uh, that cross piece is there just to kind of keep tension on on these other two pieces here uh, that do fit down. They fit down here. They go into this little opening at the bottom and uh, then they attach down here at the bottom where you have uh, this uh, kind of pivot pin here and then you have this tensioner. Uh, and this tensioner is what you use to tighten everything down. You of course pull this out you would set it up so that it lines up to the opening in your pivot there uh, and then screw that down it then slides down and as it slides down it squeezes those two pieces tight so that they clamp onto that and as they do that they also uh, since they're going down it's bringing the base piece up against here and locking it down nice and tight so that it doesn't want to move uh, now, the big thing that's different about this model than the previous model is this is actually carbon fiber. Uh, now, it's going to be very difficult, I'm sure, for you guys to see the actual texturing of the carbon fiber uh, maybe in the camera. Hopefully, hopefully, we can get enough lighting on there. You can see at least a little bit of it. Uh, now, of course, the carbon fiber is uh, stronger and it is lighter than the previous model uh, I can I mean picking it up it's so I can feel you know it's ounces lighter than the previous model holding it just like this uh, so it's definitely something that is going to um, make it easier to add to your uh, to your rifle or long gun and uh, keep it from making it overly heavy I mean of course a lot of a lot of rifles and long guns especially if you have something like a wooden stock they're already really heavy and 
with a uh, with adding on an additional piece, uh, a bipod, for example, it's definitely going to uh, just make it that much more uncomfortable to carry. Uh, now I do have a uh, another uh, rifle. Actually, this is set up as a shotgun right now. This is a single shot uh, that has a removable barrel, uh, and it does have. Uh, the the same kind of uh, uh, pivot or um, what what have you as uh, as this does here and so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put that on here and uh, we're going to set it and see if we can get it to mount to this um, just to have a different uh, a different mounting point uh, like I said it's the same kind of concept uh, as mounting it to uh, the pick rail adapter uh, for the pick rail adapter of course you would just slide this open uh, make sure that it goes over top of and sits wherever you need it to be in the pick rail using of course the bolt to set up into your little locking area and then just take and spin it down so it's nice and tight once you're there then you can go ahead and uh, take your your bipod and uh, clamp it to the uh, the pin there and uh, get it tightened up so that it sits on your pick rail if that's where you're using it. All right, everybody. Well, here we go. This is what it looks like on the gun, uh, on the rifle, or well, this is set up as a shotgun right now. But uh, there you go. It did uh, lock down on there. Uh, now the way this one's set up, it's kind of small. This is a uh, actually a youth model, uh, one that's good for backpacking and things like that, where you can break it down and keep it into a small area. So uh, the pin that's there is a little bit small. It's very difficult to keep it on there, uh, just because it's not a full size pin quite like this one is. This one's just a little bit longer, has a little bit more room for movement and everything. So. Uh, but anyhow, so there we go. Looks like that uh, being set like that. And then uh, if we go ahead and flip the legs down here. And there we go. We can, uh, of course, set it like that. Uh, and uh, again, you just take and uh, tighten the thumb screw here. And that locks it into position there with this. And, uh, you know, pretty, pretty simple and straightforward. It works fairly well. Um, it's, uh, it's on there. Like I said, on this one, it's not as secure as what it would be on maybe a full size one. Um, this little piece on the gun itself is, uh, a little bit loose and not quite right, but it, uh, it's not anything to do with the mount here. It's actually with the pin, uh, and the way that it's set in there. Um, I think if I were to uh, maybe take and, in a sense, knock off the front edge there and tighten that pin in a little bit more so that it was a little more secure, this would set better. It's just the fact that that pin on this on this gun isn't really made uh, too much as a swivel. Uh, it, it's more of a locking mechanism to hold the grip onto the barrel. Uh, but it does work the way it's supposed to. This is a great shooting position like this. You can, uh, of course, take an angle up and down. Uh, and, uh, you know, we can take and, let's see, we'll extend these out all the way. And uh, there you go. You've got a nice, a nice high... Uh, position there you could uh, of course be up on a uh, on a ridge or something like that and uh, be taking your shot maybe down a hill or something of that nature if you guys want to check this out you can go down there in the description below we will of course have the link to the Amazon site and the page where this is at uh, for X Agus also while you're down there don't forget to check out our social media and, uh, you know, leave a comment. What do you guys think about this? Uh, it's, it's really nice, honestly, in my opinion, being so much lighter. The fact that it is a uh, carbon fiber, um, very, very, uh, for the most part, fairly simple to use. Takes a little bit of maneuvering to get the, uh, the pins to line up there. But uh, once they're lined up, uh, it, it works great. You know, it, it, does, it does its job and it, uh, you know, it's, it's ready to go. 
so uh, you know I I definitely like it. And uh, of course, once you're uh, done down there, don't forget to head on back up, hit that thumbs up button. And uh, also, there's going to be that uh, little icon. It'll be floating down over there in the corner. Uh, or, you know, there's going to be that subscribe button down below. If you guys haven't already done it, please do so. And uh, hit that little bell icon so that you're notified of when we got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, guys. Well, my name's Cougar. This is, of course, been another episode from the Amazon Review Series here on World of Me. I would uh, like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!